everyone, it's Laurie from Quick Scrap Craft, and I am back doing Mix It Up Monday this month. I kind of forgot to do it last month, but I, I remembered this month just in the nick of time, and so here it is, my process video for the Mix It Up Monday Hop, which is hosted by Anna from Peace Craft Love and Kimberly from I'd Rather Be Scrapbooking, and essentially, if you don't know, um, a group of scrapbookers gets together we're given a sketch and we have to mix it up using mixed media. And so that can be anything that you want, any type of mixed media that you prefer. For me, it's all about my Distress Oxide sprays and I'm also adding in a Tim Holtz stencil. It's a brick a brick shaped stencil to um, spray through with the, the Stress Oxide spray, but whatever you prefer is what you can do. And we'd love for you guys to share your takes on the sketch, which is up in the corner there. It's a sketch by Rochelle Spears, who I believe is the owner of the Scrap Room Kit Club. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not mistaken when I say that. But anyway, uh, the whole list of people who's participating is down below. So definitely check them all out and see how they were inspired by the sketch and what, what type of mixed media they included. And then when you're sharing your takes on your YouTube or your Instagram or whatever social media you want, use the hashtag M-I-U-M, -M, which of course stands for Mix It Up Monday. All right, so my spray was tumbled glass, which I think is a fairly new blue color. I actually pulled out all of my blues. I need to, um, I think, color coordinate or color organize my Distress Oxide sprays because uh, they're not that way and it it's, makes it a little bit difficult to find the colors that I'm looking for easily. But I pull out all my blues. I end up only using three. So I think I have six blues, so half of them I used. Um, tumble glass is what I used with the stencil and again, I just sprayed it right through that stencil, trying to be very careful not to get it too close to the edge because then you're left with um, that sort of weird straight line and that's not what I was going for. The size of that stencil is like large tag size. So if you're more the person who does like art journaling and art tags and that kind of thing, you could just use that whole stencil to spray down a tag and you'd have a really cool, or stamp it down, whatever you want to do. You'd have a really cool brick patterned um, background for your tag, which might be kind of cool if that's what you're interested in. So uh, while I let my mixed media dry a little bit, and I did help it out by rolling a paper towel roll on top just to kind of sop up some of the excess liquid. It does tend to spray on a little bit heavy at times, but I do like that you still get the the shape of the stencil, um, even though some some of it gets a little bit like, you know, smushed together. But the, the, the basic shape of, of it is still there, which is kind of cool. And I just kind of did the mixed media in different areas um, of the background paper, which the background paper is Vicki Booten's foundation paper. She has it in black and white. I only have the white. Um, so just kind of trying to do it like random spots because I, I knew kind of where the photos were going to go and I just wanted to make sure that the photos didn't cover all that up, right? So the original sketch has some like banner strips going behind the grouping of three photos. And instead of doing banner strips, I decided to just do kind of a random placement of branding strips. So I went through my branding strips bag and I found ones that were all blue or blue and white or blue-ish because these are photos, obviously the background is a blue color, but these are photos that were taken at a Yankees game last year. And so their colors are navy blue and white. And so I thought, why don't I do more of a monochromatic layout with this? Um, just because that might be kind of easy. I, sometimes monochromatic layouts are not easy because you are so married to a specific color and then you go through your stash and you're like, oh, I actually don't have anything in that color. Very interesting. Um, but I did manage to get to have or to find enough blue pieces. Um, and I, you know, I don't embellish this too much. And I think the mixed media on its own is kind of speaks for itself and um, does a good job of adding stuff to the background, right? Basically what I did was I just made my own pattern paper background, right? Um, so anyway, so the three photos, they were all four by six. I actually had four photos from this event and I got rid of one of them because it was just a photo of the field, the baseball field. Nobody was on it. Nobody was in the photo. And I thought, I don't really need that. I can cut this down to these three photos. So the, the horizontal one is cut down. 
Uh, I didn't do specific measurements. I just cut it down a little bit. And then the hor the vertical ones, I did cut down to specific measurements. Those are three by four. And I backed each of the photos. Um, the two smaller photos have the same color blue cardstock backing. And then the larger one has a different cardstock backing, but they're all like a darkish blue. And so I'm fine with that. Um, the background strips, I got them all stuck down. You can see they're kind of set. The top ones go up to the right and the bottom ones go down to the right. I don't know. I, I like the placement of it and, um, it works for me. And now I'm going to stick down some embellishments. I found some simple story stuff. Um, I found a lot of stuff actually from the pink fresh tourist mode sticker sheet that I got. Um, I really liked the train, the train ticket sticker because we took the train into the city. And then there's one that says, have a nice trip. So it's kind of like we were taking a, a trip, a mini trip into the city. Um, there's another one that says happy place which I don't know that a Yankee game is my happy place, but it's probably my husband's. And then um, there was a journaling spot. So I knew I was going to use that to do the journaling, obviously. Um, and then also those really great enamel dots. There were two different colors of blue. So I'm going to use end up using both of them. I'm not doing it right now because right now I have to figure out a title. And originally I wanted to do it um, like birthdays in baseball because this was a game that we went to for my husband's birthday. We got the tickets for his birthday. Um, but I didn't have enough of those American Craft stickers. Then I found these Freckled Fawn Mini Alphas, and I did have enough. I, there was no ampersand, though, so I couldn't do birthdays and baseball. So I just did birthday baseball, and I think that's going to be fine. And I moved um, – so birthday is up there kind of on the top, and then baseball is going to go down on the uh, middle, I guess, picture, of course – kind of misjudged the length of how long the word baseball is. And I do have to end up peeling up these little alphas and trying again, which happens sometimes in scrapbooking. It's really not that big of a deal unless you end up with alphas that just do not want to come up. But these came up pretty easily. So that was good. I do still need to put the date on this. I just realized. Um, uh, so I'll have to go back and do that. With my my blue creative memories fine tip uh, marker pen thing, that's what I did for my for my journaling. I also added in two puffy stickers from the Chamel Main Character Energy Collection, and um, I think I already said Simple Stories. I've got two stickers from the Simple Stories Boho Summer Collection. I just like the mishmash of the different blues. And speaking of different blues, of course, I'm going to come back in with more mixed media. I'm going to do some splatters in two of the blues that I thought matched really well with the enamel dots from the Tourist Mode collection. So I've got Mermaid Lagoon is one of them and Faded Jeans is the other one. They were pretty spot on. If you're looking to, if you have the Tourist Mode enamel dots and you're looking for color matches for those two blue colors, I would say Mermaid Lagoon and Faded Jeans are probably a pretty good match. And that's pretty much going to be it. So if you are new to this channel, I hope you enjoyed this mixed media layout. I don't always do mixed media, but sometimes I do. Let me know down below in the comments if you how often you do mixed media, if that's your thing. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on other process videos. There's going to be another one tomorrow. Woohoo! My 390th is what's going to be on tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. And thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed it and that you try your hand at the hashtag M-I-U-M hop challenge thing. Do your own mixed media. We'd love to see it. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Bye.